Uh, I know you are one of the first wineries from Uruguay that went overseas to the export markets and to the fair. What does it mean for Uruguay and for everybody, this fair of Vin Expo? Good morning. It's uh, very important for us, the Vin Expo. We started in 91. I was the only one in 91 that was uh, here and continue here, for fortunately. And um, I think it's a place to meet everybody. So you can't miss the the Vin Expo every two years. We have importers all around the world, and in this week we have the opportunity to meet everybody and change ideas how every market is doing. Yes, we're a new winery in Uruguay. Um, my uncle, who's an American, came to Uruguay in 2003. And he started traveling, and he fell in love with the country of Uruguay. Uruguay has beautiful wines, beautiful beaches, and beautiful people. So he decided to invest in a winery after meeting two fabulous Uruguayan winemakers who were working at two of Uruguay's best wineries. And they decided to develop a project together. And so we planted our vineyard in 2007, and we're making our wines now to import to the U.S., and also we're starting in Quebec. But my uncle decided to invest in Uruguay because he sees the world-class wine potential of Uruguayan wines and because we as Californians love the Cabernet Sauvignon and the Tanat is very similar to the Cabernet Sauvignon. It's a beautiful, well-structured grape and it could make many diverse styles of wine that are very beautiful. Why Uruguay? Why Tanat? Well, in the world of wines, Uruguay is very rare, very uncommon, very scarce. It's an exotic origin and most of the distributors, importers of fine wines in the world, they like to have Uruguay as a point of difference because uh, there are very few wineries exporting to the world from Uruguay. And it, this makes a difference like the big producing countries everybody has but it's a bonus to have a country like Uruguay that nobody has so we are rare we are exotic and that is valuable for the distributor for the importer uh, good morning Fabiana Braco from uh, Narbona it's a winery based in Colonia it's special about you well, our winery is a special itself. <laughs> I mean, we produce really nice tanats, and our project is probably uh, one of the first projects in Uruguay where one of the well-known uh, enologists from around the world, as uh, Michel Roland, is uh, involved. And uh, we have a beautiful young uh, enologist uh, that is only 28 years old, Valer Valeria Chiola, and she's been doing vintages all around the world. So we have a lot of different things combined into the winery to produce a very special tanad and also a very special Pinot Noir. Pinot Noir is very difficult to produce in our country, and we have been really successful. So it's our new jewelry that in Uruguay it's, of course, mainly tanad, but it's not only tanad. So we are really happy to show the world that we can produce wines with balance and elegance, maybe coming a little bit from one well-known uh, analogist like Michel Roland and a little bit of beauty and yacht from my cousin uh, in the touch of a woman in a winery. I know you planted in several regions all around Uruguay, four or five. Why that? Uh, good morning. Well, we are very excited about the potential of, of different places in Uruguay, the terroir potential. We, we had a study and we have making a, a big uh, research work uh, during many years to, the, to, to find the best places uh, and we found uh, four or five uh, which are the best, uh, some in, in, in the east coast like uh, Garzón, uh, some in the south uh, like Canelones uh, region, Progreso and Juanico uh, sub-regions. Uh, in the west side we have Mahoma, very nice in, in the stony uh, hills and also we have in the center of the country El Carmen in Durazno and each one has differences uh, and we are developing the great potential of each terroir. Uh, what are you expecting from the fair of Inexpo? Uh, we are coming since 20 years ago. Uh, we are received all our clients here, especially Europe and other parts of the world because it's a very important fair. 
Okay, thank you. It's also uh, very nice to learn about what is happening in the market. Yes, of course. Uh, all the time we are here, learned uh, about the market because here are people of the, all the world, you know, Asia, uh, Europe, America. Please, everybody talks about Anat. What are the main characteristics of this grape? Uh, good morning. Uh, the Tanat is a red variety. Uh, y the principal characteristic is the high content in polyphenol and color. Uh, the wine produced with this variety is very rich in this compound. It's very nice color, red color, and have good acidity in the climate of Uruguay, and very good for uh, aging wine. Good morning, Maria Silvia from Irurtia Winery. Tell me, you are based in Colonia. What does it mean for you that? Yes, hello, how are you? Basically, we, we, we stayed in Carmelo, in a province of Colonia, Uruguay. It's a different terroir that you can see because it's the southwest of Uruguay. Our top line is called O Kilometer because we are based in the this is the river Uruguayan River and this is the River Plate. So we are located in the O kilometer of the River Plate that they give us a different terroir. So Colonia and Carmelo specifically is a very different place and different terroir. So you can meet uh, different wines, totally different terroir. Nicolás Kovalenko from uh, Garzón Winery, a new project in Uruguay, in a new region of Uruguay, close to Punta del Este. What can you tell me, what can you tell us about this project? Okay, good morning. Uh, actually, we are really excited about this new wine region we are developing. We are in the east part of Uruguay. Um, we have a 240 uh, vineyard planted over there. A new upcoming, uh, a new upcoming winery. Um, and I mean, it's really exciting about the influence that the Atlantic is uh, producing in our white wines. So maybe you could taste it later and tell us about that. And basically, it's, it's, it's that. Only one thing. You said 240 vineyards. Okay. Hectares of vineyards. I mean, it's 240 hectares uh, at 18 kilometers straight line from the ocean. Well, Uruguay is doing well in the international markets. Actually, we have our biggest market that is Brazil. We have USA. Uh, we have Mexico. And uh, well, we are doing well in Europe as well. And we are developing new markets as uh, Asia, Russia. So uh, Uruguay is trying to to get know the name of Uruguay and Uruguayan wines around the world. Please explain us something about what does it mean wine in Uruguay? Well, in a few words, uh, the <clears throat> wine production in Uruguay is the result of the effort, hard work of our immigrants and the next generation, with also the research for the new world wines, trying to identify a product different from the other new world countries. And we achieved that because we started from a very different climate, unique in the, in the southern hemisphere and also comparing with uh, North America.